Alright guys, just wanted to show the SVS speakers. We're going to be doing a full review and comparison of the Prime SVSs soon up in the, uh, in the movie theater room and in the basement. But for right now, we are showing the ports. Um, we'll open up the blinds a little bit here. Got my fiber cleaning cloth in there. So if we kind of get a look at the what we're listening to, well, what we're listening to is that. Um, we'll show the ports. I've got a rat's bird's nest of audio quest running from the crappiest it's gonna be is probably cinnamon or chocolate. See if we can see here. Yeah, we got chocolates coming out. Oh, we got that one reversed. Um, bird's nest. But we're gonna go chocolate, carbon, vodka, um, and then we'll go the, I think the diamond is the other one. We'll, we'll, we'll compare them, but oh, no, we'll show uh, with the we're gonna 118 again. Yeah, it's a little low. Uh, I'll show you quickly here, just when I'm screwing around with this guy, why I love him so much. Um, so you see that? Now, it will actually change your amperage draw. See that? Just showing that, guys. So that is the power of the SVSs. I've got it just sitting on the 1000 sub right now. Normally the vibration from the low frequency effect would rattle that needle loose off of that turntable. Mind you, this is one of the shittiest turntables I could afford right now besides my Pioneer that's from the 70s downstairs in the theater two channel room. Um, but these, these SVSs blow my Kef Omni-Q speakers out of the water, even the towers. Um, that are $5.99 a piece. So with, even with these all stacked up here, I'm gonna be putting a laptop cooler on top of here and um, integrating it with the um, Romance chassis at some point. They do sell um, an upgraded system, a chassis that you can actually put a cooler on the top at some point. Um, I'll have to look and see the manufacturer of that one as well. Just to kind of see what I've got going on here, I've got like um, XRG energy cables powering most of the equipment. Um, so not that one, like my DVD player I've got, and then if we just go look in here, we'll just look at the other stuff really quick. So, so we got this little NR1606 in here, it's not powered on right now, but if you look at what's being plugged in there, it's the same, I'm not going to use the supplied Morant stuff yet. I'm just using it right now just to give that comparison and I'm trying to look for some other yeah okay so here it is um, the X the NRG X3 is what I'm using um, and then I got let me see there's some other audio quest stuff maybe not I'm looking in the wrong spot I guess uh, yeah I'm looking in the wrong spot we got uh, this must be a sound pad. That's where I'm mounting the speakers up. Okay, PSB headphones, not those. Um, I'll get a new tank here. Put this guy down. All right. 
so we're gonna get the bird's nest of wiring out of here, but um, that's the SR7010. And then we are getting the SR7011, the newer guy. Mind you, these wires in the back won't be there as ugly as that is, and uh, the drape will probably be up. These will properly be mounted and screwed in. They won't be looking as horrible as they are the way they are right now. So, um, just to do a comparison, that's what I wanted to do. Just to kind of show you where I'm working with right now. On how powerful those SVS primes are. And they're not bi-amped or bi-wired in any way. Now, I'll normally bi-amp or bi-wire everything I can. Um, if you want me to walk down the basement and one of the other really crappy locations, that's fine. I walk down here. So, and we won't go in there. We'll show just quickly, like, one of the other setups. I probably shouldn't be showing people some of that stuff, but... Um, okay, so the Elite A20 is going to be what I'm reviewing um, at this point, integrated with some of those Morants, but let me just go over here, quickly show what I'm pulling out of. Um, as you can see here, this is an older, let me get a little, scratch the glass. Um, this is the old basement setup that... I'm pulling away from um, a Dolby 2 HD DTS HD Master Audio on this guy, the SC05. Oh man, it's got PQLS with the um, uh, BDP05 Blu ray player that was sold in conjunction with it at about $1,800. So that is a look at the piano gloss still on this guy. Um, drop down, you know, full lit remote. I mean, this guy it just blows me out of the water still. Um, but that's where, and here, let me just show you quickly what I'm doing with wires, guys. You might, you might disagree. Um, so I'm using some of these. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got carbon, we got forest, we got cinnamon, we got more carbon, we got vodka, um, we got other stuff here that we're going to be putting in, um, but I'm really wanting to know, guys, what do you recommend in terms of the wiring and all of the HDMIs? You are not going to bottleneck it out using a forest, mind you, in any way, shape, or form. We'll kind of go into the back a little room here i don't need to see that right now but we got going on some of the stuff that i've just collected over the time that i haven't even used yet um i mean come on i haven't even used this and i could sell all these for like 200 a piece almost so i'm just looking here as you know what the hell am i well I'm gonna, we're gonna find no we're not gonna find any audio stuff in here okay so no we're not gonna find any audio stuff in there but uh, got the little fire truck. Um, so, guys, here, just to give you a comparison, this is the rat's nest right now that's getting moved out, but normally I'd be at minimum style like that. Uh, mind you, coming out, you know, either the Rocket 44s, Rocket 33s for full spectrum, or um, uh, I think that's... What, Four wire or something from Audio Quest, but then you're coming off of uh, your surround backs on your amplifier, um, limit, limiting the amplification it can do, limiting the amount of channels it can do. So, okay, we'll go back up into one of the other rooms and and uh, show some of the main the main theater room at that point. Um, like I said, I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what I'm doing over here with the review stuff now. Just cheap Sony's um, with a you know a bi wireable wire in there, but just uh, full, you know, not a full spectrum even, just treble to bass and bass to treble in, you know, you gotta wire them, you, you, you can't do positive and negative and negative and positive together. You've gotta do positive, positive, negative, negative, if you kinda see there. Um, as these can be confusing, they will work and pass a signal through using different polarity, however, 
you don't really want to do that. That's the cheapest setup I can come up with in kind of the back of that. That's a two-channel amp with two channels driven, but with the opportunity to do four. Well, just like something like that had in the 70s. So, guys, I got all the old stuff. If you want to compare it, uh, see it. Um, I'm really more into the, um, the Department of Defense stuff uh, from the old days. As you can see here, my channel master. Um, anything infantry... Um, is exciting to me, but I save all this old stuff, um, always to come back to the stuff and compare it to my old products before. So that's why I am adamant on just Audio Quest products sometimes. I'm just gonna run up here. Okay, so this is where we are now. Just to kind of show big boys over there. Uh, little kitties right there just taking a little nap too. So okay, just just to mind you, what the heck is this doing here? Alright, well So we got all that stuff going on. And then the surrounds are gonna be the prime satellites. Uh, they were right there. They'll be mounted right there and right there and then heights right there right there and obviously right there and there so it won't look this bad they'll all be 8 ohm matching we'll do a comparison video of all the things and get the room looking better and cleaned up and everything and oh yeah decluttered and all of that um i don't think we're going to be doing much with this over here at all let's see i got some kind of unique stuff going on here so I don't think I'm going to be doing anything with any of this stuff. Um, kind of Halloween stuff. But no, this is actually kind of cool. I don't know why I'm showing that. But um, yeah, I can't really put anything else anywhere. So that's why I'm kind of looking for suggestions and options as to what to do, you know. Oh, Vel9 DSP it looks horribly dirty right now just because of the cat jumping up on everything. I'm um, just kind of showing you what I'm going to be doing. So, nothing special. Nothing special at all. Nothing special at all. Not ported. Obviously ported. Look at that rubber port though. I mean, come on. Two rubber ports out of a tower like that, but not by Ampleball. You really don't need by Ampleball. Now, SVS is, um, other line, their secondary line of towers and bookshelves and satellites, I would assume, are all bi ampable, bi wireable. So, guys, I'll be doing those next. Yeah, obviously, that's a no no right there. Uh, mixing <laughs> phono, especially with it sitting on the sub, obviously, you're gonna get a rock in that needle. But, guys, I've got that low frequency effect matched uh, in you know, in phase 180 zero with this guy, and then we matched a third Validine to see if it would compare in a PSB. Um, and that didn't work out too well. So the Marantz will drive two subs matched very well and very efficiently, the low frequency effect. And if you turn them down to like 120 hertz or even 80 hertz, you've got bass that is as clean as I've ever heard it out of an audio video processor and receiver like that. So it's going to show you, um, get some suggestions, ideas, kind of what else I'm working with here for audio in terms of like what I'm going to be playing. Uh, Really, anything you guys want to hear. I mean, I got 21 pilots here. I got stuff like uh, Skrillex and Diplo, and then I got Steve Miller Band, you know. So it's, it's, it's ranging from quite uh, quite a different, uh, we don't need to see that stuff, but uh, it's ranging from my audio equipment. So we'll, we'll, we'll get some stuff down here, but get some suggestions as to what I'm wanting and needing, and uh, we'll go from there. 